litukuzwe jina lako litukuzwe jina lako litukuzwe bwana hakuna mungu kama wewe hakuna
This is Youth to Call. We are coming to you live from Pinker Town Church. Lift up a voice unto the Lord. Tell your heart. Seek the Lord, O my soul. Seek the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glorify the Lord, O my soul. Don't wear out my soul. Oh, my wangu si choke. My wangu si choke. Oh, God. We don't want to get tired of seeking your face, of seeking your face, O God, of hungering, thirsting after you, Father. We desire you, O God. May we be known as a generation that seeks your face, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, may we be known as a generation that loves the Lord and seeks the face of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the worship today. Thank you for gathering us here in this house in Thika Town Church and as well as the online community that is watching on our social media platforms as well as from the comfort of their homes on the TV. Oh God, we desire your presence this afternoon as we're going to be hearing from you, as we're going to be praising you, lifting up your name, rejoicing in your presence. Oh God, we desire God that we may experience your presence. Your transforming presence, oh God. Your comforting presence, eternal and gracious God. For without you, we are as nothing. But with you, we are more than conquerors. We honor you, God, and we give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Somebody celebrate God in the house. Amen. Amen. Come on, I can hear. We didn't oh. leave the celebration. In the house of the Lord. And once again, indeed to welcome all our online viewers you are watching us from the comfort of your home welcome 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 to you to on this 4th of july 2021 we are in thika town church we were here from yesterday with the youth leaders from kehumwine thika presbytery thiririka gatondo and muranga hapa jana na viongozi na tukasoma vizuri sana and uh, we send we send our regards to all those parishes that sent their youth leaders na pia pale kwingine ambako tumekuwa na kule tunaelekea tunaomba sisi wote tuungane katika kumwabudu Mungu kusifu jina lake kuliinua jina lake na kujinyenyekeza mbele zake aliye Mungu wetu kama vijana na ambaye atatuvukisha kila ngambo katika maisha yetu and with me in this particular place is none other but Reverend JK, the parish minister of this parish. Ambayani na mwalika hapa, kwa sangwe, navi gele gele, ili ya kunyo pia, atukaribise, mahali hapa, kwa sababu pia ni kemcheki hivi ni na muona pia yeye ni muyudhi tuko. Unless atuambie otherwise. Vipi Rev. Praise the Lord. Amen indeed. Glad, glad to see you right in here, Reverend. Amen. Thank you, thank you. And Mazei, you look good. Nasi suit in kwa? Yes, sir. Tamuliza baada ya hii mahali zilitoka kama zimebaki, eh? Fia mini pate three pizza. Three pizza na nikule pizza. Come on, ah. Amen. Mchukaji karebu sana, we are so delighted to be with you. Thank you. Uli tuhost hapa jana. Yes. Leo asubuhi, main service, sasa hivi, maze umekua tu hapa na sisi. Please give us a warm welcome. 
Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, yeah, we can say a uh, uh, loud amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 I am JK John Kamo Mwangia. I'm born again. Praise the Lord. I want to take this opportunity to say welcome. Yes. Bona director, we are grateful yes, to host you around here mm -hmm. with the rest of the team, uh, youth team from yesterday and today. We are very, very delighted Amen. that you chose yes. to worship with us today and also to all this event here. Yes. And therefore, I take this opportunity to welcome you yes. for yourself from your office and the rest mm -hmm. of the youths. Yeah. I welcome all of you to our parish and we are delighted for those who are watching us on CAC TV, for those who are watching us online, for those of us uh, who are watching from different areas, may the Lord continue to bless you as we continue to engage and serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. It is this time to call. Amen. Hata mimi niko. Hata mimi, hata <laughs> mimi. Hata mimi niko, sasa. Tuna kucheki hiyo. Sasa niko, niko, Kama niko. tungakuwa na DJ hapa, tungakuangushia mziki hapa hivi. <laughs> Tuone uki kaenda, eh? <laughs> but other, it's najua kukuna... Kuna kuna mavijana hapo hivi ambao mm. uh, wako rada sana na mziki kwa hivyo pia kama utakuwa hapa we shall praise God Thank we you. shall have a holy jig in the house of the Lord blessing the name of the Lord and Rev one thing that I have really 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 picked up from this place this weekend yes. is your heart for the young people maze umenibamba Aje tu ambia tu atua TV. I am humble. Kwa ni bamba. I am humble. Kwa sababu, you know, your heart for the young people, uh, the way you open the doors for us, the way we have been communicating, yes. even the way we are talking about the youth today. Yes. I mean, you have really encouraged my heart. Thank you. You know, how was life for you when you were a youth, and what things would you like to see happening for the youth today that probably we are missing for one reason or another? Well. Uh... I want to appreciate one that uh, I gave my life to Christ on uh, when I was, uh, I think, 22 years or thereabout, uh -huh. and uh, it was a very challenging time after school. And uh, there are all these hassles, yes. like uh, somebody was saying earlier. Uh, there were all those hassles in our days. Maybe yes. the only the only difference is the setting at the context. Mm -hmm. So with all those hassles, uh, having given my life to Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, one of the things that I desire to see is the mentorship. Yes, and uh, one of the things that I live to celebrate even today mm. is the form and the kind of mentorship that we got right from our parishes, the presbyterial levels, mm -hmm. the regional levels, the national levels, yes. that kind of mentorship. And that is why I always say that I am indebted. Yes, I am indebted. I am mm. I'm a product of a system that was there that nurtured us to be who we are today. Yes. We got to know one another. Many of us are colleagues and ministers. We came mm -hmm. to know one another. Well, so none of us was a minister. Yeah. But today we thank God that uh, we are there. And that is why I say it. Uh, uh -huh. Mimi, I'm open. I am okay. ready to receive and appreciate wow. and mentor Amen. and work with the youth as a, as, a, as a mentor and also yes. as a minister. And thank therefore, I am there. Much. And you're Amen. most welcome. You're thank my you very much, Rev. Thank from you, thank office, you, thank you so much. Yes. Team, everywhere. Amen, I amen, amen, amen. Thank you. I, I think I'm uh, passing here. It deserves a good, good, good appreciation. Come on now. Let's give him a good appreciation. We want to thank God for you, Rev, and so, so many other ministers that are willing to support the Ministry of the Youth in the restructured system. There are quite a few challenges happen up here. Youth are highly relational people, but yet some of these opportunities are not there anymore. But we appreciate the efforts of all the leaders at all levels that are geared towards bringing the youth together, growing together, learning together, and overcoming together. So thank you very much, Reverend. We issue God's blessings as we continue serving in this parish. Pamoja na Presbytery hii yote ya Thika. Mungu akubariki sana. Thank you very much okay. and you're most welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Rev, you can have a comfortable seat. As we go on also, I want to appreciate the youth pastor in this parish. Pastor Pauline, Pastor Pauline Karibu, you have a kidogo. You have just come into this parish. Glad to meet you here. We used to meet in other places. We have been working together. Guild Sunday tulikuwa pamoja ukiwa na blue, mkiwa na grace. Sasa leo hamuna blue, leo mkuna black and white. Imagine. How is, uh, how is the ministry of the youth in this parish? Uh, the ministry of the youth, I can say it's awesome. Yes. Having the support of our parish minister, as, she, as he has said. Yes. And the session, the patron. And also my youth, wako. Nasi mnaona? Aha, uh -huh. hey, wako. Uh -huh. Yes. Well. yes, I love to thank the Lord because it's yet another opportunity to look at to meet Kikuyu, sasa uh, tuna meet Thika. Yes, yes, you're telling me busy. It's just a Pauline Ako Thika. Pauline Ako Thika, sasa. <laughs> wow, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. And of course, in this place, you have uh, leaders. Here, man, akwapi, Tony, akwapi. Anto, anto, anto. Usually, like, okay, he's, he's there. Fundi wa mitambo, weka tu, uko fundi wa mitambo. Yeah. Ili kaktibu wa sikose sikono. Lakini tukona Gracie, like and I know he presents. Mapa, secretary, right? And vice chair the parish. And vice chair and he single. 
Yes. Okay, asali sana. Namba yake itawekwa hapo chini ya screen for any uh, young guy from the PC ambaye ataona hiyo mrembo wapi hivyo. But uh, I appreciate all the leaders in this place, the praise and worship team, and we're going to have a good time in here today. And we're going to be talking about Mungu kufungua macho yetu. I want to invite a guy called Tyras here who is the evangelist of this parish. You'd better come here and you'd better have a handkerchief in your pocket because I'm going to hang you. Do you have a handkerchief in your pocket? Do you have a handkerchief in your pocket? Uh, yes. Give me, give me, give me. I hope it's clean. <laughs> no, no, no. I need it. I, I'm not joking. <laughs> if you don't have a handkerchief, I'm going to chase you away from here. <laughs> Otherwise, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Eh? You are still doing the work of evangelism in this place. Sure, sure. Your problem is that you don't have a handkerchief. I have a mask. You have a mask. You have a mask. I'm on a blazer. Eh? Somehow, it is uh -huh. going away. Okay, Tyrus is the evangelist in this parish, but I need to demonstrate something about what you're going to be talking about today. Like in Uba, sir, no wonder how you go. Man, otherwise, Tyrus, I appreciate you very much. Thank you, let, sir. Let me, let me use uh, this guy, CEO. CEO, do you have a handkerchief in your pocket? Come here. CEO is a guy from Western Presbytery. Western, no, 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 Western Presbytery, Elisha. He is from uh, Sugar Belt Presbytery, New. New Mount <laughs> Tuligawanya Juzi, but I still don't remember the names. Mount Olive Bungoma Parish. Now, give me the. Is it clean? Is your handkerchief clean? <laughs> oh, Sawa, you are just stuck, stuck in any uh, shock. So now. Uh, can't join you, can't join you, my friend. You know, this is a young guy who. Naikifunguka Utaona. This is a young guy trying to get a life. He's trying to get a life. As far as I know, CEO, he's so single. This guy is single. As far as I know, he is in his final year at MKU, just about to complete his coursework and go into the job market. So he needs a job. This guy will need to get a place to settle his family. This guy will need so many things in his life, just like any young person. Hello? I don't know what you need in your life, but you need something. How many of you need a girl to marry, guys? Come on. <laughs> How many of you need jobs? How many of you need opportunities for ministry and service and all that? Everybody needs, isn't it? Everybody needs. But there's a way in our life that whatever you can be looking for is actually somewhere so near you but because of circumstances that surround you you are bypassing your opportunities like this and you can't even identify them you're hungry you're passing your food you want a job you're passing those opportunities and you can't even sniff them you want to marry but guess how many times you have passed with that potential guy who is actually supposed to have married you by this time or something like that. But still, you haven't connected. Why? That is what we're going to be talking about in this session. But first, we're going to have a time of worshipping God and praising God in song. And we're going to pray. Then after that, we're going to continue looking into God's word. Psalms 118, 19, verse 18. Open my eyes, O oh Lord. Worship him. Give it, uh, give it to, uh, to us, in, uh, leaders in that session of worshiping and praising God. And then we'll be right back to continue on this theme for today. Welcome. Amen. amen. Can we give our reverend uh, a clap? Amen, amen, amen. We want to do a song that you can join us to kufananishi na nini bwana na kumbe wewe haufananishwi. We are going to do worship first then praise. Nikufananishe na nini bwana. Nikufananishe na nini bwana. Nikufananishe Nani ni bwana 
na kumbe wewe hanani shie ehe nikufananishe nani ni bwana nikufananishe nani ni bwana Nani ni bwana kufana ni she kufana ni she nani ni bwana kufana ni she kufana ni she nani ni bwana na kumbe wewe na kumbe wewe hafana ni ji kuli she ni kulingani she nani ni bwana ni kulingani she kulingani she nani ni bwana ni kulingani she kulingani she nani ni bwana na kumbe wewe na kumbe wewe hauli Wengine wasema wewe ni kama jua Wengine wasema wewe ni kama nyota Na sisi twasema wewe ni Mungu Na kumbe wewe Haupana ni shwi ehe ehe ni kufana ni she nani ni bwana kufana ni she kufana ni she nani ni bwana kufana ni she kufana ni she nani ni bwana Sisi twasema wewe ni muweza na wewe peke haufana ni shwi Yesu Kristo ni kufana ni she nani ni bwana kufana ni she kufana ni she Waweza mambo yote wewe mwaminifu Waweza 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 mbokozi Waweza mambo yote wewe mwaminifu Sema waweza waweza Inu watu mikono yako mwambie Waweza mokozi Waweza mambo yote Wewe mwamini Nyosha mikono ya kosema Waweza Waweza Declare it as you mean it Waweza mokozi 
Wewe mambo yote wewe mwamini One more time waweza 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 mokozi eh waweza mambo yote wewe mwamini fumashani mwako waweza 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 mokozi Waweza mambo yote wewe mwaminifu Waponya 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 magonjwa Waponya magonjwa yote wewe mwaminifu Wavunja 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 lana oh wavunja lana zote wewe mwamini kusema waweza 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 mokozi haleluya waweza mambo yote wewe mwamini hakuna mungu kama wewe wewe Waweza waweza mokozi waweza mambo yote wewe mwamini I would like you to take a moment Jesus just worship the Lord Mwambie wewe unaweza unaweza kila jambo Unaweza kuwa unapitia hali ngumu but Jesus is able Unaweza kuwa unapitia hali ya ukiwa but Jesus is more than able. Hakuna jambo ambalo hawezi. Just reach out to him. Mwambie wewe ni Mungu unaweza. Unaweza nifanyia njia mahala ambapo hapana njia. Unaweza nitengenezea maisha yangu na yafanye angare katika jina la Yesu. Unaweza shusha milima just for my sake. Join us together at home. Worship the Lord. Hakuna jambo ambalo hayawezi. My father. You do everything. Yes, my father. Unafanya mambo mbaya. Mwanadamu hawezi kufanya. Unatoa faraja mbaya. Mwanadamu hawezi kutoa. Yes God that is our declaration ya kwamba unafanya mambo ambayo mwanadamu hawezi kufanya maana wewe waweza Unavunja laana ambazo mwanadamu hawezi. Maana wewe Yesu unaweza. In our lives oh God as young people you are able dear Lord. You are able to give job to the jobless dear king of all the glory. You are able dear king of all the glory to make a way for that young lady, young man that is watching us, that is listening to us today dear Lord. And that is why you ask Jeremiah is anything hard for me? And Lord we are here in Thika town parish to declare that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we know and we can think of oh God you are not limited oh king of all the glory oh Jesus you are able to give capital to that youth who is in need of capital to start a business oh God you are able to give marriage partners dear Lord to those king of all the glory they are waiting upon you for you to give them marriage partners dear king of all the glory there is nothing that is too hard for you dear Lord we worship you today because you are able we honor you today because you are able we celebrate you today because you are able dear Lord and there is nothing that you cannot be able to do and we join together in faith to just declare Unafanya mambo mbaya Mwanadamu ha
hawezi kufanya Unatoa faraja mbayo Mwanadamu hawezi kutoa Haufana Haufana nishwi Na kitu kinge Haufana nishwi Haufana nishwi Na kitu kinge In the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Pastor Pauline, uh, there is a group that has a presentation, right? Yes. Which group is that? This priest group here. Right? You guys are ready? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. You're going to bring your presentation. Kiongozo na ete mesi, mzewa glorify. Wasi watu wa glorify tuna wangotea. Glorify concert, eh? Uh, we appreciate very much. At this time, we're going to have the praise and worship team making a presentation. And then after that, we're going to continue with the word. And hey, we trust that you are praying together with us for the opening of our spiritual eyes, the eyes of our understanding. Because there's so many things that surround us and confront us in today's life. We need wisdom and understanding from another place. And the Bible says there is one come from glory, full of mercy and grace. His name is Jesus, the light of the world. God's eternal word sent for our deliverance. So it doesn't matter in what situation you find yourself as a young person out there or even in here. Help is available for us in his name. Amen. Amen. Help is available for us and it is here with us today. But first the praise team is going to bring that presentation. Welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. I would wish all of us to stand. We sing together. Let us all stand up. Let us all arise on our feet, on our miracle feet, as we praise our Lord this afternoon. Let us all sing together. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome, Ikono Kwayesu. All the other gods, they are the works of men. But you are the most I go. There is none like you on the other gods. The other gods, they are the works of men. But you are the most I go. There is none like you on the other gods. All the other gods, they are the works of men.
the most high God. Lift it higher, higher. You higher. are the most higher. High. Jesus, for He cares for you. Cast your burdens, cast your burdens hey. unto Jesus, for He cares for you. Jesus, higher, 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 higher,
We are not at 1GB. Okay, so I understand. Amen. <laughs> now, our God is good. Our God is so good. He has a wonderful love for us. There is a song, you know, by Kim Walker Smith. You guys may know it. You know, that uh, uh, says how he loves us. That if, if, if his love if his love is an ocean, then all of us are sinking. Amen. <laughs> that if God's love is an ocean, then all of us are sinking. Guess why? Because it's so much, and Sunday school children do it very nice when they say, so wide. Come on now. That you can't go around it so high. That you can get over, over it. it so deep. You can get under, under it. it. So wonderful, wonderful love. Grace, you'd better have a mic. So yes, that when I, I start a, a song, you sing. All right, all right. Are we together? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, okay. I've just made an introduction of what you're going to be talking about today. And uh, I, I need I need to um, see you back up here. And that guy, I don't even know what your name is. But the Bible doesn't always say the name of people. You know, for example, the Bible says a father had two sons. What was their names? What was their names? <laughs> we don't know who they were. So even this nameless guy, I'm not even going to ask him his name. He represents you. He represents a young person somewhere. Stand right over there. Yeah, yeah, Because... I want us to have, a ref, to have reference to a portion of scripture in understanding why it is so important to observe biblical patterns of how God does things and how God deals with us, and especially when we are young. You see, in, in Lamentations, um, somewhere the Bible says, I think it is uh, chapter 3, it says, it is good for a young man to bear his yoke when young. When else was he feeling? It, it is good. I think it is verse 27. It is good that a young person bears his or her yoke when young. Now, the question of bearing a yoke is not a question of if. It's only a question of when. Are we together? One way or another, one time or another, you will have to bear the yoke. What does the yoke represent? The yoke represents the price that must be paid in order for you to be what you want to be. So, scripture says there, lamentations, that it is good it is good that you pay the price when you are young because when you become old regardless it's actually lamentation 327 it is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth it is good to be willing to pay the price to be what you want to be when you are young because regardless if you don't pay it now, you will pay it later. You know, people like my friend here, a learned friend. <coughs> good to see you, man. <laughs> Looking good as always, man. I know where you are. I was given your apology. <laughs> Who are in finance? Kila kitu ambacho mutu wakulacho. One way or another, lazima kitafanya nini? Italipwa. Sindio? Kukula, either ulipe saio, ama utalipa bada, ama utalipa badai. So, what scripture is saying to us is that there is a wise thing that a young person can do that is to pay the price of living a valuable life when you are young than to wait when you are older and realize that you still want to live that good life 
a victorious life settled in your career settled in your family settled in ministry serving God in the nations in whatever God has called you into but then the further we go without paying the price the more costly it becomes because things don't always work in our favor and one of the things that doesn't always work in our favor is t-i-m-e amen <laughs> one thing that doesn't work in our favor and that is why scripture says bear the yoke when you're young so that when you're old you will be settled but you can choose to waste your time now and pay the price for wasting that time now you'll pay it later waste your educational time waste your emotional time in relationships that add no value and they ain't going nowhere amen <laughs> and probably you know that this one ain't going anywhere but you're still wasting your emotional time investing emotional energy into something that you know is not going anywhere when you will need that emotional energy to spend it in a worthy situation you'll find that you have only this little left bear the yoke when you're young train your emotional energy when you're young train the use of your time when you're young train the use of your body when you're young and when you'll need it in marriage when you'll need it to raise up your children you are strong train your mind train your mind you're watching us on television train your mind to be a disciplined mind now when you're young and when you're old ah it will be like old wine <laughs> that is nicely cooked now in the book of Luke uh, that is where I want us to go with these two guys in the book of Luke after Jesus has resurrected and uh, news about him is going all over the place and you know Mary has gone found nothing in in the in the grave only the clothes are there the disciples peter you know has run in there he's found nothing and what is going around that hey he has come out of the grave he's coming out of the grave now scripture says in verse uh, beginning from verse 13 and behold two of them Two of them one of them was called Cleopas two of them went that same day to a village that is on the day of resurrection called Emmaus which was from Jerusalem about three score furlongs and they talked together all these things that happened now these two guys knew Jesus in his lifetime they heard the news they read it on Twitter <laughs> amen they saw it updated on the Facebook wall of their group of their time they knew Kumeharibika the one we thought was going to be our Savior the one we thought is going to bring hope to Israel the one we thought was going to deliver us from the Romans and give us the kingdom is no more and these guys are broken these guys are sad have you ever as a young person found yourself with your hopes dashed when you're promised a job by somebody and they told you no no problem at all send me your CV <laughs> how many CVs have you sent to everybody you know one time I needed to repair a certain machine when I when I was so seriously jobless I, I got a friend to help me with the machine a, a laundry machine uh, to just start off like a small business and try to take care of myself and that laundry machine required th some repairs of 3,000 shillings I wish I knew this guy that day because I looked for 3,000 Bob everywhere I knew how I didn't get nothing now Lisa who you I can be a hey mimi kwanza si tatu mimi natafuta moja we atafadhali unatafuta ngapi tatu we uko na maono Mimi ni natafuta thau, mimi natafuta mia 
Mimi ni food ya leo ninatafuta you like eh hey, okay sawa <laughs> You've ever had your hope dashed Everybody that you thought you could help you is nowhere to be found Promises made promises not kept <laughs> Somebody promised you they were going to marry you as a young lady and you kept yourself and you waited only to see on social media wedding photos and you knew nothing about anything that was happening and i'm telling you you can feel like your life has come to an end these guys were returning home they were actually coming from jerusalem they were going back to their village they have been disappointed in nairobi <laughs> Nairobi has crushed their lives. Now they have decided, let's go back to the village. They didn't even have transport to pay for any courage. They were walking back. They were walking. And people who are heartbroken, frustrated, and discouraged, and probably hungry, and they are on foot, you don't want to get into their way <laughs> because they can be dangerous. You know, so these guys are walking we need guys to walk like walk slow with your heads bent these guys are walking home and they are telling each other mazi when you follow this guy kwanza nakumbuka ile crusade kwa nayo pale bethlehem say um say neno walikuwa nayo ndio atukatai miracles pia lakini jo his miracles were good but now what what are we going to do what are we going to do now? These guys are frustrated. These guys are broken. They don't even know whether Jesus was for real or he was a mirage. <laughs> he has vanished. They can't see him no more. <laughs> that is what scripture says. You're going to come right over here and then come back this way. You're really going to walk today, man. The Bible says they were walking. <laughs> As they walked together, they talked about all these things. And it came to pass hold on while they communed together and reasoned they communed together they were sharing these things communed about the things that had happened but they still didn't have any answers to anything you meet up with your friend who is as jobless as you could be at this particular point in time or a challenge with a serious issue that like you could be at this time and you're like what, what are we gonna do then your friend tells you pia mimi sijui aki mimi mahali mambo imefika pia mimi sielewi i don't know then your friend tells you na life siku hizi ni ngumu then you're like hey kumbe umeona hivyo pia watu wanaanza ku encourage ana kuanguka my friend used to tell me be careful of friends who with whom you can encourage each other to fall when i say zibe mnaulizana eh na maisha ni hard siku hizi haya yenyewe na maisha ni hard you know beware of such kind of agreement because the next thing they might tell you lakini nilisikia kuna vile tunaweza jaribu amen and probably some of those things are not the very nice things so these guys are communing they don't know what to do but then scripture says that all of a sudden all of a sudden they were joined by Jesus who went alongside with them i want jesus i want jesus come over here dear come over here you're gonna be jesus for me i think jesus was a little bit taller but you're gonna still do the job hallelujah this is jesus this is jesus 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 hallelujah jesus jesus we love you jesus you know <laughs> now jesus is gonna come right behind them a little bit and he's going to catch up with them. You guys are going to walk slowly. Kama vile muhikia na ingia la zangu kanisani. And you're going to come and walk alongside them. Just walk alongside them. Wasikilize vile wanasema. Na wanaendelea tu kuongea. They are talking about Jesus. And Jesus is right here together with them. But they can't even recognize or realize that the one risen from the grave is the one walking with them. Listening to their very conversation. But they are still talking about him, saying all. Oh. And then a time comes, the Bible says, Jesus talked to them. And he asked, he asked them, 
what manner of communications are ni mambo gani hii ninasikia mkisema ndugu zangu you know all of them were jews so they are thinking this is another frustrated traveler like us who was walking alone at least i may catch up with us now you know in the morning i said be careful who you walk with because if you're hanging out with five foolish friends that is just about to be a sixth one all right so these guys are probably thinking this is another one just like us who is looking for consolation mahali life imekuwa ngumu challenges imekuwa mengi so these guys looking for comfort but jesus talks to them and asks them ninini mnaongea and one of them cleopas answering him said kwani wewe wewe unaishi wapi wewe unaishi dunia gani haujasikia bibi yai is not bibi yai sorry you know haujasikia hii story yenye inaendelea hii jerusalem haven't you heard about this guy who was are you the stranger in jerusalem and you know not these things that have come to pass in these days can you hear that haven't you heard about the things that have come to pass in these days can you imagine everybody has their days when as if we everybody has the ya ukisikia watu wanasema kuhusu matukomaya kila mtu alikuwa na matukomaya makwake when as if we in other words everybody has their season of going through challenges difficult and issues that have to be sorted out if life is to be stable everybody has a time that they first had the gospel and they had to rest to choose how to respond to that gospel ecclesiastes 9 11 says that time and chance happeneth to them all but not all of them use their time well so even these guys are talking about their time and they are telling jesus are you the only one who doesn't understand what's been happening during these days now he listened to them he listened to them wakimuelezea kuhusu maisha yake wakimwambia kuna mtu alikuja hapa akiwa na nguvu za Mungu alikuwa anafanya alikuwa anahubiri siku siku nini akasurubiwa na sasa amefufuka na hakujulikani kunaenda aje ati wase kunaenda aje bana yesu asifue so to cut the long story short Azea still walking towards Emmaus Jesus speaks and he tells them oh you fools oh my goodness i'm so sorry see you ni biblia ni nasoma but the bible says you fools and slow of hearts to believe all that the prophets have spoken ought not the christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory so they are walking they are walking and jesus is now talking to them but guess what they still don't know that it is the christ who is talking to them when as was if you and then they continue and they continue and the bible says they came to a place where these guys were going to get home it was getting late in the evening jesus was going to go ahead but they asked him to just accept to come into their humble abode and he came in and the bible says they set bread jesus took bread he broke the bread he gave them to eat and all of a sudden their eyes were opened they knew it is jesus and all of a sudden jesus vanished jesus vanishes and these guys are left wondering no maze mbona tulikuwa nasikia mimi kichamkachamka when this guy was talking to us this guy was he was speaking to us but my mind wasn't understanding i was feeling like there is more i was feeling like this guy actually has my hope this guy has my help there was something that was burning in my heart as he was talking to us but i still didn't know it's jesus now the reason that their eyes were open is because the bible says that jesus in verse 27 he began at moses and all the prophets to expound unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself in other words jesus symbolically broke the bread gave to them the eyes were open but in the real sense in the spiritual sense it is that Jesus began to reveal himself to them 
in the word they had always heard but they had never understood you can have your seats guys thank you very much it is a tragedy when as young people we live our lives with without understanding and especially the understanding of the word of god scripture says beginning with moses jesus began to talk about himself now i was asking myself why did jesus begin talking about himself from moses it is because the patterns of life that lead to victory are hidden in scripture and until a time that we discover the patterns of God that lead to victorious living, we will deal with the word of God as a mere intellectual text that will never change our lives. We will quote the word of God, but we will still be so defeated, so blind, so without fulfillment in our lives, singing of how God is able anaweza 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 tutaimba hapa kanisani on sunday but monday to saturday hawezi <laughs> hapa kanisani ndio tutaimba na tutaimba ya kwamba shetani akiniona ah natetemeka lakini monday to sunday shetani akiniona ninatetemeka mimi mwenyewe because the scripture is only for real within the walls of this beautiful sanctuary but there is no freedom there is no victory there is no joy out there it is just about time that we begin to discover the value of god's word big into god's word eat the meat of god's word Drink the milk of God's word. Ask God for understanding, revelation, and insight. Because we are walking alongside opportunities, but we can't see them. Because these things are hidden from our eyes. For scripture says, we are not in a physical confrontation with things. But we are in conflict with spiritual powers that are in high places in heavenly places my question is can you google heavenly places on google map and see where heavenly places are so that we can go there and defeat them there we can get there because these are spiritual places now jesus began at moses jesus be the moment i read this i began asking myself how much of christ do i see in the entirety of god's word that is meant to be uh, to author my salvation how much is hidden in god's words for me as i wade through life there is a possibility come right over here i see you i need to to, to to finish up this come here come here quickly 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 fanya vile tulikuwa tumefanya fanya vile tulikuwa mfanya haraka haraka tumaliza tumaliza hiyo story how much how long will i walk blind as a young person how long will i walk without knowledge without understanding because circumstances around me seem to blind me to everything good that god can do in my life whatever i try nothing seems to aggrace kuja hapa wewe nitaacha kama nimekuuza hii weekend huna bahati simami hapo grace now this guy you know like i said by now he ought to get he, he, he ought to be married but he still he is still disturbing the pastor with a lot of kesha's intercessory fasting wekelea mikono kanyanga mimi kwa sababu bado sijapata na kumbe the problem is not with the prayers of the pastor the problem is that this guy has actually been walking around and in near and sometimes even rubbing the girl she he should marry but he has no sense to awaken him to that which god has prepared for him bwana yesu asifiwe kuja hapa bwana auditor kuja 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 mayelda kuja 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 grace wewe usimamia tu hapa 
Simama hapa bwana auditor now this guy is 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 just about to graduate his potential employer is here wanakutananga kwa traffic akiwa kwa ile gari ingine akienda kutembea tembea huko town anapitia mahali his potential employer yuko but he has no awakening he has no he has no spirit unaona ndio maana hata anaanguka kwa sababu he can't even see where he is going his potential employer is there his potential wife is here but this guy is blind he is interacting with the opportunities and the blessings that have been ordained for him in his life but god but, but he is blind he cannot see just like those guys walked with jesus they didn't know that it was him that they were looking for but Jesus did something to them he opened their inner understanding when as you see he opened their inner understanding and all of a sudden and all of a sudden when this guy is still thinking that he is single all of a sudden he sees a beauty he has never seen in his life because now Jesus has opened his eyes he has opened his understanding and he has known ya kwamba grace is not just a leader of worship in church she has been sent there to connect with my destiny bwana yesu asifiwe sana now he not only has a wife now he also has a job and now he's going to raise a family and he's going to have a good life and he's going to be ordained as a elder in the church and his his wife is going to be the chair lady of the women guild in the church and they're going to serve God and raise a Christian family to the glory of God young men and women we need spiritual enlightening the opening of our inner eyes that is why david prays open my eyes oh god show me the things that are hidden in your word that are meant for my victory in your word oh god the beginning of our victory is our love for the word of god worship team you need to be right up here up here now worship worship team the beginning of our victory in christ the beginning of our victory as young men and women begins with the understanding of what God's plan for our lives is for my life is it is possible yes you have been in church it is possible yes you have been singing yes thank you very much thank you very much and make sure when this guy graduates you get him a job so i have booked a job for him in your company we have been in church we have denied ourselves so much we got born again a time comes you even begin thinking that christianity is boring you begin wondering is there in, is, is there anything good in the house of the lord is there anything good in god's house i've been here i'm going through all these issues the problem is not heaven let me tell you there has never been a problem in heaven amen there has never been lack in heaven there has never been shortage in heaven the problem is down here and that is why we pray thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven because in god's account you are called more than a conqueror in god's account scripture says that i write to you because you are strong the word of god abides in you and you have overcome the wicked one we got to prove it young guys amen we got to prove it we got to prove our worth in the identity that god has given us how are we going to do this we have to go back to the love of the word of god because that is where our inner understanding gets opened and all of a sudden we begin living by a different value system that delivers us to our place of victory we're going to have some time to worship uh, like a few minutes uh, like 10 or so then we're going to have a uh, moments to pray in the name of jesus amen as we beseech the lord open our eyes there is a song that says Let's continue. Wana, 
Niwe kama wewe. You, you're free. You're free. Just to continue with any any worship that you that you like for a few minutes. Just go on. Yafungue macho yangu ni kuone bwana badilisha mawazo yangu yote yazako ni kujue zaidi bwana niwe kama wewe bwana niwe kama wewe touch me once more touch me once more Lamentation chapter 3 verse 27 the Bible says that it is good for a young person to bear the yoke in their youth it is good that a man bear the yoke in their youth and it's just about that time to you know check out your heart are you subjecting and submitting yourself to the necessary discipline 
that is going to amount to a valuable you, that is going to amount to a victorious you in the days to come? Have you had yourself in situations of time wasting, in relationships, in interaction with uh, you know, the, the environment in which we live, and you have found that our educational time is gone, our relational time is gone, our academic time is gone, our marriage time is running out, but today we are praying for grace that God is going to open up our eyes. He's going to open up our eyes. He's going to give us understanding. I want somebody to cry out for understanding. Just tell God, give me understanding. Give me understanding in my life. You're watching out there. Ask God to give you understanding. Oh God, give me understanding to handle this my life, to handle this my body, to handle this my mind, to handle this my ministry, to handle this my family, to handle this my job. Give me understanding, oh God. Understanding that is going to reveal to me things that I know nothing about right now. Things that you are calling me to. Opportunities of serving you. Opportunities of knowing you. Opportunities of growing others in the Lord. But yet, I'm bypassing all these opportunities. I cannot identify them, oh God. And yet, I want to live a valuable life. I want to live a valuable life. A victorious life in your presence in this world. In the name of Jesus, and probably, you know, somebody is in here, or you're watching on TV, and you've tried so many things in your life, and you probably are this discouraged, like Cleopas and his friend, as they're walking from the city, going back to the village, heartbroken and discouraged and frustrated. Something happens to them, and their lives were transformed. And the same, Jesus is the bread of life. We can have him and he's going to bring joy. Jesus is the one who brings joy. He is the one who brings enlightenment. He is the one who brings the new life that we are hungering for, that we are thirsting for. Do you know that this life is not outside of Jesus? Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Do you know that this life we seek is not outside of Jesus? Amen. Shout a big amen. amen. The life we seek. It's not outside of Jesus. He began expounding on himself, beginning from Moses. Moses is the one who wrote the first five books. And Jesus begins to talk about himself from Genesis to Exodus to Leviticus to Numbers to Deuteronomy to, the, to, to Judge Joshua and Judges and all. Because the Bible says he began talking about himself beginning from Moses. We need to go back and dig in into the word of God. Our life is not outside of Jesus. Amen, guys? Amen. Yeah. If you try to seek that life anywhere else, <laughs> we're going to go back like Cleopas and Company. I refuse to be part of, I never call your auditing firm Cleopas and Company. Amen. <laughs> Yeah, don't call your auditing or accounting firm. Where is my accounting sister? Alienda Wabi. Finance and CPAK. Kuna ma CPAK hapa. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of them is here. Eh, don't call your auditing or accounting firm Cleopas and Company. And if you get a partner called Cleopas, pray first. <laughs> Before you commit. But as you are saying, we are sana. Allies today, as we come to the close of this program, but yet we're still going to have some time to worship God even after we go off here in a couple of minutes. We just want to pray with those who are watching. We just want to pray with somebody who is in here. You're feeling like Cleopas and company. You're walking the road here, yes, but you're so down, almost out. We're going to pray that Jesus will visit your life. You can open up your heart and you can tell him, Jesus, I was feeling something when I was in church. <laughs> I didn't know that that was you, but now I rejoice. So let us pray. Let us believe together and pray for all those who are seeking the presence of Jesus in their lives. Our Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you so much because you care for us and you love us with a, with a never-ending love. We thank you because you came from heaven to the earth. You went to the grave. You rose again. You ascended into the heavenlies. And now, even by your Spirit, you are forever making intercession for us. As we walk down the road of our life, as we encounter all these issues, all these junctions of decisions, all these valleys of a decision that we go through, oh God, as we pursue the things that you have laid in our hearts, 
sometimes we get heartbroken we feel like we're running out of gas and we feel like there is no hope for us but you always come and refresh our lives you always come and when you come oh your word says that our eyes are open that you open up our eyes and we are able to see you near us and we are able to understand that which you desire of us and we rise in faith and we rise in courage to overcome the things that confront us so bless us oh god bless every young person watching bless every person indeed who is watching or in this sanctuary today oh god that you may not give up that we may not quit like these guys who had decided to go back to the village and probably go to the old things they used to do we refuse to go back we choose to stay in our place of destiny we choose to stay in our place of calling we choose to stay in the place of our placement by god and we're gonna overcome there we are not gonna run away from the battle but we're gonna call upon you that you may strengthen us for the battle to bear our yoke in our young days and in the end glory revealed in our lives you offer you thanks and our praise in jesus name we pray amen, amen. reverend you're gonna come and you're gonna share the benediction with us and then we're gonna continue with the worship you can kindly uh, pick your mic you give the benediction and now may the lord bless you and keep you May the Lord let his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with all of us from now and forevermore. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen indeed. Let's celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Thank you very much for watching Cax TV this afternoon. Next Sunday, God helping us, he's going to be coming to you live from Molo Church. That is in Joro Presbytery 